Good morning, my students. I hope all of you are well. Uh, as I told you that uh, I would take only this week as a revision week and uh, for all those chapters which we, we have already done in the classes and I already mentioned that chapter from 8 to 12 is completely done in the classes and you will find them on page 232 to 392 so it's done and we are in this week we were uh, revising all these chapters so today is going to be the last chapter from the covered material that is chapter 12 the the age of uh, jackson so this is the last uh, lesson uh, of the covered material and from next week we are going to begin new lessons so it, it is my request to all of you that uh, memorize as much possible in this week so uh, from the next week we can start new lessons okay so here we go here it's moving okay so andrew jackson basically in this chapter you have learned about the presidency of andrew jackson and uh, what was the policy of jackson towards native americans and we also uh, we have learned about an era of prosperity and panic during his presidency few a few important terms first i will uh, i have collected few important terms uh, we revise them and the rest you will study in your books so andrew jackson first you should know who was andrew jackson he was a military hero and he was the seventh president of united states then uh, there's a term states right what does it mean it means the rights of the states to make decisions without interference from the federal government then uh, we also read about a doctrine of nullification. What was doctrine of nullification? It was an idea that a state had the right to nullify or reject a federal law that it considers unconstitutional. And you, you can read it in detail in your books because we have uh, already, I had, uh, I had already explained it in great detail when I was taking your class. Now uh, the next term is Panic of 1837. So what was Panic of 1837? It was a widespread fear about the state of the economy that spread after Van Buren took office. And at the end, the term I, uh, I have selected is trial of tears. What was trial of tears? Trial of tears was uh, basically, it was a journey uh, that the, the, the Cher Cherokee, it was a tribe, the Cherokee, uh, in this journey, the Cherokee, they were forced to travel from Georgia to Indian territory. So this journey was uh, known as trial of tears. Okay, so the first uh, term, uh, the, the first topic uh, we will revise today is the, like what led to the formation of the Democratic Republican Party. Okay, so in this, uh, first you should know what is Democratic Republican Party. So Andrew Jackson, he was, uh, as we know, he was a hero from the War of 1812. So he ran for presidency in 1824 against John Quincy Adam. And who was John, uh, John Quincy Adam? He was... Uh, a candidate uh, in 1824 presidential uh, candidate for favored by new englanders englanders okay so he was favored by the new englanders okay so neither uh, what happened during election neither candidate received a majority of electoral uh, electoral votes uh, and the house of Represent uh, rep representatives had to decide the winner so the speaker of house speaker of the house henry clay basically he he used to dislike jackson so he used his influence to help Adam win the election. So what happened that the Jackson's followers, they accused Adam of stealing the election. So finally, Jackson's followers, they formed their own party and that, own, uh, and that party was known as the Democratic Republican Party. And for next four years, this new party attacked Adam's policies. Okay, next is what was the spoil system and one more thing about uh, kitchen cabinet, the term kitchen cabinet, I will explain also, I will revise that term as well. So what happened that uh, uh, Jackson ran for president again in 1828. So the, uh, these new voters spotted him. Uh, with their help, Jackson uh, won the presidency. He was so popular, like Jackson was so popular that the crowd of uh, people, they came to Washington for his inauguration. Uh, and Jackson wanted common uh, people to have a chance to participate in the government. So once in his office, he removed about 10% of the federal workers from their jobs. So he removed uh, the federal workers because he wanted 
uh, common people to have a choice to participate in the government so what he did he removed 10% of the federal workers and he gave those jobs to his friends and loyal followers and jackson friends also became his advisors and these advisors were known as his kitchen cabinet so who who were kitchen cabinets kitchen cabinets were uh, were those friends and loyal followers of jackson who also became his advisor, uh, advisors later so these advisors were known as his kitchen cabinet and then what is spoil systems the practice of incoming political parties of removing old workers and replacing them with their supporter is known as the spoil system spoil system in simple words you can also say the practice of giving government jobs to political backers is also called spoil systems okay next we have indian removal act in 1830 so what was that by by the early 80s some native Amer uh, native uh, american groups in the southeast began to take on the culture of their white neighbors so these tribes like uh, i already mentioned the cherokee here the choctaw seminole creek and chickasaw uh, chickasaw chickasaw okay they were called the five civilized tribes by the whites so many white settlers they did not wish to live with native americans instead they wanted native americans land in the south and west for farms so they one thing they did not like them and they also wanted their land so as a result president uh, jackson decided to remove the native american from their lands so finally congress passed the indian removal act in 1830 and according to this uh, law uh, according to this act uh, uh, or you can say according to this law uh, it was an uh, the order was uh, given that all native americans should move west of the mississippi river okay then i i have selected few questions but these are not the only questions you have to see other questions and um, assessment at the end of the chapter 2 uh, so few questions like i selected that you should know their answers that after reading this whole chapter you should be able to answer all these questions that what political divisions appeared during the election of 1824 and you should be able to describe the political divisions that appeared before and after 1824 election how did american democracy change during jackson's presidency how did economic issue increase sectional uh, tensions here is the sectional tensions what issue were at stake in the debates over state rights what were the effect of indian indian removal act why did jackson want native people move to the west how did jackson show his commitment to the common people once in office and how did jackson destroy the national bank these are the most important questions but not the only questions there are so uh, so many more uh, which you also have to uh, answer okay at the end to this task like always you have to prepare the assessment of chapter 12 and uh, as i told you that next uh, from next week we are going to begin new lessons so again it is my request to memorize and learn by heart the most you can uh, do from these chapters okay and so take care of yourself see you again bye bye